What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my first ever box from Spearcraft Book Box. It is actually their Lord of the Rings special edition box. Apparently Spearcraft Book Box has been working on this for a couple years, like they've been planning to do a special Lord of the Rings box. And they said that they're going to include a couple jewelry replicas. So I'm hoping there is a ring in here, you know, so uh, I can roll them all. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to insert like evil music. Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, I am very excited for this box. It is finally here. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this. If you are interested, keep watching and let's get into it. Okay, sneak it a peek. Right on top, this, yes, we have the spoiler card with Middle Earth. And right on top, I think we have a tote bag. So let me take it out of the plastic. Oh, this is so cute. It is Arwen and Aragorn. Oh, that is awesome with Lord of the Rings up there. Same design on both sides. It's like a claw kind of tote bag and it's a fairly good size. Am I like the only one who kind of wanted to have pointy ears after watching these movies? Like I did, I really did. The only thing I will say is, I don't know if you can see this, the stitching kind of like goes through the wording. Like honestly, I would rather not have words on there than to have words with stitching going through it. I don't, I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it looks kind of weird. Yeah, still very cool tote bag. Great start to the box. Next, it looks like we have a pillowcase. Oh, it is not a pillowcase. Just kidding. It is a banner, maybe? That is so pretty. I love the colors and design of this. Okay, what does thou say? I would rather share one lifetime with you then face all the ages of this world alone. Oh, that of course is the quote from Arwen. So yeah, I will happily display this on my wall. Their love was everything. Next, we have a candle that says Rivendell. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, okay, so just green. Ooh, I, I don't know what smell this is, but it smells amazing. Oh, my God, hold on guys, let me take it out of this bubble wrap. That is so cool. It is a glass from the Prancing Pony. It's like I actually went to the Prancing Pony. And this is like a good size glass cup. This is definitely my favorite item so far. Next, so it looks like we have some soap. It's the Shire Handmade Soap. Lime top notes with hints of citrus, fresh grass, and warm amber. Can't really smell it through the plastic, hold on. Mmm. Mmm. Nope. 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 I am not a fan of the smell of this. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what it is that is making this smell kind of. I don't know. Mmm. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not my favorite item. Next, we have some socks with the eye on there. Uh, so yeah, just the same thing, kind of all the way around. Ah. Uh, to be honest, it's not my favorite design. I mean, it's a pair of socks, I'll wear them. Uh, so, so yeah. Next we have a cute little pouch. It is an enamel pin with a quote from Gandalf, I think. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is from Gandalf. And it says, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. I'm almost like 99.9% .9 sure that's Gandalf. Could be completely wrong though. But it also has the words from the ring that says one ring to roll them all. And the gold, I am loving this gold. I love it, love it, love it. Next we have a magnet that says now serving breakfast, second breakfast, 11 Z's, luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner and supper. <laughs> I honestly feel like my kids have this same mentality because all they want to do all day is snack. Snack, snack, snack. Okay, so we're to the last item in the box. And it's a notebook. Uh, and it says notebook in case anybody was 
confused, I guess. But I do like the cover. That is a very cool art print. Same on the back. Has a place you can put your name and the year and stuff. And then like content page. Okay, so it has lines through, I guess the first half of the notebook and then just blank the rest. Maybe they ran out of ink. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm assuming they did that on purpose. So yeah, not my favorite notebook I've ever gotten. I mean, I'll use it. But yeah, that was everything in the Lord of the Rings special edition box. Let's take a quick look at the spoiler card before I give my overall thoughts. So we had the Eye of Sauron inspired candle. What? That's a Rivendell candle. Lucky for us, these blended to create a one-of-kind scent I've named Mordor. Okay. Um, <laughs> then we have the exclusive enamel pin inspired by Gandalf and the ring. Yes, it was Gandalf. Haha. <laughs> the Shire inspired soap. The tote bag designed by Dakota Black Arts. Wait, what? On the spoiler card, it says the ring, one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness blind them. What? We did what? We didn't get a ring. And it also says the leaves of Lorien necklace. The leaves of Lorien were brooches given to the members of the Fellowship of the Ring. What? We, am I missing items? And then it says Lord of the Rings inspired tapestry, which was by Katarina Book Designs. And then the Prancing Pony inspired glass from Spearcraft Book Box. Okay, so I'm so confused. We have items that aren't on the spoiler card, but items on the spoiler card that we don't have. So the notebook, socks, and magnets are not on the spoiler card. Did they seriously replace the jewelry replicas with a magnet, socks, and a notebook? So I would probably email Spearcraft Book Box and be like, um, what, what, what's up? What's up, Buttercup? Um, so. <laughs> Okay, I don't know, I don't know guys. But as always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Hands down for me, the Prancing Pony glass is my favorite item. That is so freaking cool. But I also really liked the enamel pin. My least favorite item would have to be the soap. But I'm also not really that big of a fan of the socks or notebook. So I guess the replacement items they just threw in the box. For a box that said they've been planning this for two years, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of expected a lot more from this box. I definitely feel like they missed out on some amazing things. Like not having a Legolas item is a crime. Or maybe like a little replica of Frodo's sword that like glows in the dark maybe because you know it lights up when uh, orcs are around. Like to have a Lord of the Rings box that doesn't have the ring in it should be like a crime against Lord of the Rings. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like there were so many other things they could have done instead of including some of the most basic things we get in subscription boxes all of the time. A candle, soap, socks, a notebook, a tote bag. Like, <laughs> We get that stuff all of the time. So, I mean, I'm not saying like this is the worst box ever. I just, I feel like they could have done a lot more. So yeah, <laughs> you guys will definitely have to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you wanna join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye guys. And they, I'm not good at being evil. Why do I try? <laughs> oh, Pippin, you fool. Run wing, one, one ring. What? What?
What? What? Uh, Orlando Bloom. He was my crush growing up with those ears and blonde hair. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Debbie, calm down, calm down. I'm okay. Uh <laughs>